Hi everyone. Um, I get a lot of emails and questions just in general about um, garden pests, but the most prominent one is probably snails and slugs. So rather than kind of get you know snail and slug pellets, which are often quite toxic, and put them in your garden, there are other ways you can kind of minimise the effect. Now one is to go out during the dark and uh, with a torch and pick them up. And if you've got chickens, give them to your chickens; they'll love them. That can be a bit of a, you know, a palaver kind of getting up in the middle of the night. What you can do is provide, if you're finding that you're getting snails and slugs, you can provide a bit of a habitat for them. So during the daylight time, they'll retreat to this area and then you can kind of pick them off. So what I've done, last time it rained, I have had a few snails and slugs in here, slugs in particular. So I put, this is just a, a box of mine that's just got all my old pots in it. And I knew it would stay, you know, it's kind of dark underneath and what have you. Now I'm literally just if um, pulling this up for the first time. So hopefully I've attracted, made a space that's inviting for the slugs and they've got underneath. So the, what I'd suggest is, well I use a trowel to pick mine up. Not because I'm squeamish as far as picking snails and slugs up, but just that slime annoys me because you can't get rid of it. Now, and then something to put them in. So I've got this old tin that I actually had a tomato plant in that's actually growing in the garden now. So I'm kind of ready. So we'll see if there's actually anything under here. Well, there you go. Look. Basically a mother load. There they are. You can see there's heaps of them. So these are the buggers that have been getting into my vegetables. So all I do, it's quite easy, I scrape them all up, eventually, there's heaps, a few millipedes as well, they can go in, alright, that's all of them, now I'll give these to the chickens, and they'll turn those into eggs, so what I'll do, that's got rid of a, a fair amount of them, so I'll just put this back and I'll just check it every few days and just see if there's anything in there underneath that's um, hiding to get into the vegetable garden during the um, night time. Just a quick tip. You can do the same thing. You don't have to use a bucket like this. You can use an old roof tile or a plank of wood. Something where it's dark and moist and it's inviting something close to the vegetables. And if they've been in there, they'll go retreat under there during the day and you can knock them off. Give them to your chooks. Cool. Alright, thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye.